All right, to watch this for September 21st, which is going to be Wednesday. We're going to get out of this holding pattern, I believe, um, tomorrow afternoon, FOMC announcement. Um, you know, we've just, ever since this big push down, we've just been in this tight holding pattern, and the market doesn't know what to do. And I think we'll get some resolution. I'm hoping to catch an early trade tomorrow because I personally, even though some traders love it, I hate trading uh, after the FOMC announcement. And really for the hour or two before it, you get, you know, nothingness. Is that a word? And then you get pure chaos. So um, I'm going to try to be done after the first hour. So hopefully catch a gap player. One of these that um, stocks that I'm getting ready to show you uh, give some kind of a trade. So here we go. Um, let's start with WINT. Had a nice volume spike today after the gap up and closed about where it opened. Um, it's kind of interesting because one thing I look for on stocks that are showing strength is has it made a recent really nice move and even though this reversed at one point this thing ran from 270 to 442 in the middle of august so then you've got a gap up so it's above you know several weeks worth of trading nice volume if we can uh, get any kind of upside move you know maybe we retest this high but if nothing else to me it shows that this stock can move so i want to watch it um nymx has been on my radar for a few days after this pop um it's just really in a tight range i'm going to watch it for a potential breakout PTCT uh, came in today on lower volume. Um, it was on watch today. I actually did take an early trade in it. And, um, you know, I think I made like $700 on the trade, even though it didn't really rip, still gave a nice low risk setup. Um, and so we had this pop that broke out of this area. And then you've got a lower volume pullback. So sometimes we can get a third day play. So that one goes on watch. HPJ um, had this huge move back here, then a nice secondary move. On, on much lower volume it came in today that one might be a third day play move back up so we'll keep that one on radar INVN I really like this move here on big volume and then this secondary pop and now it's in a range uh, really between I don't know like 750 and eight bucks today it came in a little bit on lower volume so it's really back at the bottom of the range so I'm gonna put that on potential bounce watch now it's at support and I like the daily chart it looks really strong to me right I'm thinking you could break out of this little flag pattern that you can picture from here to here. Um, and we've got a nice low risk setup down here at support. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on INVN. AEGR broke out today and on decent volume. And I wanna watch that just for a potential follow through, maybe a red to green, something like that. AMCN, kind of the same thing, a nice volume spike today, maybe a red to green, looking for a potential follow through. AST. Um, was on watch for follow through today and then gapped up and then sold up. But if you look at the move from like here to here, it's kind of about a 50% retracement, a little bit lower volume than on breakout day. Um, so I'm gonna watch that one for a potential turn back up. And then lastly, I have CYCC, which sellers came in, you know, a little bounce here. It had nice moves back here, then it just did nothing. Um, then a little bit of a pop, sellers came in and then these sellers right here failed, right? It's back up. So this one is showing a little bit of strength and again it's already up like you know four days in a row so i'm not in love with it but i do like the way this moved back here so it's kind of on my radar but i'm not in love with the setup hopefully we'll find some gap plays in the morning in addition to this list all i need is one or two good trades and i can be done for the day hopefully before noon all right enjoy the rest of your evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow